Imagine boarding a plane in London and stepping off in New York just two hours later. No, this isn't a sci-fi movie. It's the cutting edge of aviation innovation. China's space transportation has tested a revolutionary engine that could make supersonic travel a reality by 2027, reaching speeds four times faster than sound. This breakthrough isn't just about speed, it's about reshaping global connectivity, slashing travel times, and redefining how we experience the world. In this video, we'll uncover the technology behind this marvel, its global impact, and what it means for the future of air travel. Let's dive in. Supersonic travel has long captured our imagination. The Concorde, introduced in 1976, was a marvel that could cross the Atlantic in under four hours, half the time of conventional flights. It symbolized a bold leap into the future, offering luxury and unprecedented speed. But despite its revolutionary design, the Concorde faced significant challenges. High operating costs, limited passenger capacity, and noise issues overshadowed its appeal. By 2003, it was retired, leaving behind a legacy of potential unmet. Fast forward to today, and the dream of supersonic travel is not only alive but on the verge of transformation. Beijing-based space transportation has reignited this ambition with its cutting-edge Jindu Yun engine. Capable of propelling aircraft at Mach 4 four times the speed of sound, it dwarfs the Concorde's Mach 2 capabilities. Recent test flights saw the engine achieving speeds of 3,106 mph at altitudes above 65,600 feet, marking a monumental leap in aviation technology. Unlike the Concorde, which was weighed down by traditional turbojet engines, this new design employs detonation combustion technology, a groundbreaking approach that enhances efficiency and reduces costs. What makes this development even more exciting is the timeline. Space Transportation plans to debut its Yunxing supersonic passenger aircraft by 2027, with commercial flights expected by 2030. Unlike previous attempts at supersonic travel, this effort is not just about speed, it's about creating a sustainable, commercially viable model. Vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and lightweight composite materials are setting the stage for jets that are faster, smarter, and more adaptable. The future envisioned by space transportation isn't just a revival of the Concorde era, it's a complete redefinition. By 2030, the idea of flying between continents in under two hours could become a common reality. This isn't just progress, it's a revolution that will reshape how we think about travel and global connectivity. At the heart of the supersonic revolution is the breakthrough in propulsion technology embodied by space transportation's Jindu Yun engine. This cutting-edge detonation combustion engine is transforming the way we think about high-speed aviation. Unlike traditional engines that use turbines and compressors to generate thrust, the Jindu Yun leverages controlled explosions. These explosions create shockwaves that compress incoming air, simplifying the engine's design and making it lighter, more efficient, and less expensive to produce. This innovation is a game changer, addressing many of the technical and economic limitations that grounded previous supersonic projects like Concorde. The engine's performance is remarkable. In recent tests, it achieved speeds of Mach 4 four times the speed of sound, or approximately 3,106 miles per hour, at altitudes exceeding 65,600 feet. At these altitudes, passengers would experience a breathtaking view of the Earth's curvature a feature that adds a unique allure to supersonic travel. The ability to reach such speeds and heights is due to the engine's reliance on detonation combustion, which eliminates many of the inefficiencies associated with conventional jet engines. Space Transportation's Yunxing aircraft, which will be powered by this revolutionary engine, is designed to match the innovation of its propulsion system. Built from lightweight, high-strength composite materials, it is engineered to withstand extreme aerodynamic forces and temperatures at supersonic speeds. These materials not only enhance the aircraft's durability, but also reduce its weight, further improving fuel efficiency and performance. What sets Yunxing apart even further is its vertical takeoff and landing capability, a feature that allows it to operate from smaller urban airports, eliminating the need for massive runways and opening up a host of new operational possibilities. The recent test flights provided critical data to validate the engine's functionality and reliability. These tests examined the fuel supply, 
electrical systems, and overall engine stability, moving the technology from concept to a practical reality. This rigorous testing marks a significant milestone, demonstrating the feasibility of detonation combustion as a reliable propulsion method for commercial aviation. The emergence of supersonic jets like Yungsing represents a monumental shift in how we view air travel and global connectivity. The most immediate and striking impact is the potential to reduce travel times dramatically. A flight from London to New York, which currently takes about eight hours, could be completed in under two hours. This kind of speed would transform business, tourism, and even personal travel, shrinking the world and making international connections easier and more accessible than ever. In the business world, this speed could revolutionize industries that rely on face-to-face -face meetings and rapid decision-making. Executives could attend meetings in multiple countries on the same day, drastically reducing downtime and boosting productivity. The tourism industry is also poised to benefit, with distant destinations becoming more appealing and practical for shorter trips. For instance, a weekend getaway to another continent could become an entirely feasible option. The global competition to lead this new era of aviation is intensifying. Space transportation's developments with the Jindu Yun engine are leading the pack, but rivals are making significant strides. NASA's X-59 is tackling one of the major barriers to supersonic travel, noise pollution. Its design focuses on minimizing the sonic boom, an issue that plagued Concorde and limited its operations. By reducing this disruptive noise, NASA hopes to make supersonic travel more acceptable to regulators and communities near airports. Meanwhile, Boom Supersonics Overture aims to return commercial supersonic travel to the skies by 2029 with a focus on affordability and environmental responsibility. Environmental concerns remain one of the most significant challenges facing supersonic aviation. Historically, supersonic jets have been criticized for their high fuel consumption and carbon emissions. However, space transportation is addressing these issues by incorporating lightweight composite materials and more efficient propulsion systems. While these advances are promising, the aviation industry as a whole must still confront the broader challenges of sustainability and fuel efficiency to make supersonic travel a viable long-term solution. As we look to the future, the developments in supersonic travel remind us of humanity's relentless pursuit of progress. With China's Jinduyun engine leading the charge and rivals like NASA and Boom Supersonic close behind, we're on the cusp of a new era in aviation. The journey from London to New York in under two hours is no longer a distant dream, it's a challenge we're actively conquering. These advancements aren't just about speed, they're about reimagining what air travel can be. Whether it's boosting economies, shrinking our world, or inspiring the next generation of engineers, the potential is limitless. The sky, quite literally, is no longer the limit. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.